Um, I hope you can hear me. I was going to put in my AirPods and then I forgot. Whatever. Uh, so this is the live stream. By the way, I know. I know what I look like. Okay. You don't have to. I know. I'm, I've been sick. So don't even. I seen it. I seen it. Um, yeah, I had this like my daughter had this horrible fever. She was like over 102 for days and she's never had that before. And I was like, shit. I mean, I'm obviously going to get it because like you just can't avoid it when you have this kid. It's like, it doesn't matter what you do because you have this person literally going (coughs) at you, like directly in your face all the time. So you're going to get that shit. <clears throat> she doesn't know about the elbow. She knows about it, but like she doesn't have time for that. Um, so I got it as you can tell, but it's crazy because last night I was, you know, thought I was going to die. Well, I'm being hyperbolic, but I woke up this morning pretty much fine. I'm pretty much fine. And I was, I was reading about protein and infection. Cause you know, protein speeds wound healing. Like every, when I had major surgery, the doctor was like, eat a lot of protein. And, uh, I did. And I was like, I wonder if it can do something for like, you know, not just wound healing, but like healing, healing, like if you're sick and apparently it can it helps you fight infection. So who knew I've been eating a raw tarted amount of protein. Like, I think his, oh shit, I didn't turn on my light. No wonder I look like shit. Hang on, watch this. Look at the, look at the amazing, oh God. Calm down, Jesus. So you gotta get the one that doesn't make you look. Ooh, see, but now it's, it's on my glasses. So then I gotta take those off. Now I can't see myself. Whatever, it's better to see. I'm, I'm just a vague blur over there. Hopefully I'll be able to tell if you guys leave comments. I'll just see like a vague motion on the side of the screen and I'll be like, oh, a comment. Anyway, I'm sick. That's why I don't have my eyeliner on shit. As soon as I say that, somebody leaves a comment. Damn it to hell. Oh God. Um, I don't care about that. Um, So anyway, uh, (laughs) so that's about right. So this is the live stream where you're going to stop following me, delete your Patreon subscription, unsubscribe for me on YouTube, um, take me out of your will, um, tell all your friends that I'm trash, write a call out post about me on Facebook, all the things, uninvite me to your family Christmas, Take me off your Christmas card list. Forget about my birthday this year. All of those things is what you're going to do. Because I'm about to tell you some shit that you don't want to hear. You know what? If you do unfollow me and whatever, I don't care. I don't care. And I'll tell you why. Because I will always say the shit that's true as I see it. And I just don't care. What is like the new version of YOLO? YOLO's old. What is YOLO? What is the new, um, what is the new, um, I don't know. So yeah, YOLO, new version of YOLO. That's how I feel about it. Here's what I'm going to say that you're not going to like. I've got two categories of people who are following my shit. Who are on my Patreon. Most of them start out in category one. Many of them, hallelujah, end up in category two. It's the category two people that I really want to talk to today. Category one are fat asses. You're fat as hell. Just like me when I started. And I don't mean fat like, oh, I'm kind of fat, but like, you know, if, you, if you're category one, then like, you know, um, Cool, 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 cool. I hope that you are fat because Zara, Zara, I hope that you're fat because that's what this is all about. 
if you are a category one fat ass, you should be doing 72s or something like that. That's fine. It's great. Do that. It works. Clearly it works because you have one major goal, one top priority, and that is to not be morbidly obese anymore because that is comorbid. All right, cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, that's comorbid with a lot of shit that's going to kill you. We don't want you to die. We want to get the crazy amounts of fat off of you so that you can live to fight another day. I'm trying to get you to category two so that you can be mad about the shit I'm about to tell you now. Once you're in category two, and by the way, while you're in category one fasting, eat a lot of protein. When you eat, eat a shit ton of protein. I'll, we're going to get to that. Category two, you don't need to be trying rolling 72s. And I keep seeing a lot of you that you're like, mm, this is my third try at rolling 72s. And, you know, I just have like 30 pounds to lose. I weigh 150 pounds. Stop. What are you doing? Rolling 72s. I had to learn this the hard way by getting like, like by damaging myself. Rolling 72s are for fucking fat people. Do you know why everybody's fat? Do you know why you have to do 72s? Do you know why you can't eat food every day like a normal fucking person? Because you're not an athlete. Human beings evolved to be what we now call athletes. Those people who ha are really muscular and men, women, doesn't matter, athletes. Some of them look like this and some of them are lean and they sprint, but whatever. They're athletes. They have a ton of lean body mass. They have very low body fat and they are training. They're not exercising. They don't go to Planet Fitness and get on a treadmill, but can read Shape Magazine and like pick out their new $40 water bottle on Amazon while they're on the treadmill. That's not an athlete. That's, those people are exercising. They're not training. Human beings for like hundreds of thousands of years we were all athletes. We had to be. We had to be. That was life. You had to pick up heavy shit and carry it around. You know, if you had to move your camp, you had a baby strapped on your back and you were carrying a bunch of shit. Women, men, we all had to do it. We evolved that way. And then one day we were like, let's go crops. And we, for a while, growing crops was still pretty hard. But then we invented a lot of cool shit that made it really easy. And then we sat the fuck down and we watched Netflix. And we've been doing that for a hot minute and now we're fat as shit. So you can still eat food if you're an athlete. Athletes have to eat a shit ton of food. Human beings are supposed to be athletes. If you, what is the guy from the Nike guy? If you have a body, you're an athlete. He probably just said that to sell more shoes. Fuck him. But it's true. It's true. You can be wrong and right at the same time. This is fucking delicious, by the way. You don't even know. You don't know. You don't fucking know how good that is. All right. So if you're in category two, I'm about to say some shit that you're not going to want to hear. And I'm sorry, but I'm not. If you're in category one, you're weighing yourself all the time. You're doing all the things I've told you to do. I have a million videos about it. You weigh yourself every day after you pee before you drink anything with no clothes on. You need to be taking progress photos. You need to be eating small refeeds every 72 hours, 48 hours, whatever. As long as it's coming off, I don't fucking care. And you need to do that until you're like, oh, fuck, this is hard and this isn't kind of working anymore and shit. Then you're in category two. Congratulations. I don't have an exact BMI body fat percent. I don't know because it's going to be kind of different for everybody, but you'll probably know. The 72s will start being like not, you won't be able to keep doing them and they probably won't work anymore. Why? Okay, so why? Let's talk about that before we go on. Why does 72 stop working? Well, a lot of different things happen. So one of the major things that I see happen over and over and over it happened to me. It's happened to like three people that I've talked to in the last two weeks. I call it fat creep. What that means is 72 starts to get hard. Now you're 250. 260 pounds, 72s are really nothing. Then they start to get really, really hard and you start 
cheating a little bit here and there. You put a little cream in your coffee, right? A little butter maybe, a little MCT oil. But you can't just do that in the morning. It starts to creep out from there. And the next thing you know, see, we don't we don't think about it. We just eyeball it. We don't measure it. By the end of the day, you're putting a half to a full cup of cream in your coffee a day. So you're actually getting four to 800 calories a day, maybe. Right? Shit. Then it's time for your refeed. And you're going to sit down and eat 3,000 fucking calories because you're starving. If you're a dude, you can put away 3,000. Women, probably 2,000. When you add your fat creep calories and your giant fucking refeed calories, and maybe it's even more because your refeed starts creeping out too. You get that refeed creep where it's supposed to be an hour, but now it's two hours, but now it's six hours. Now it's a whole fucking day. And it's not a 72 hour fast anymore. It's like a 60 hour fast. And then it's a 48 hour fast, right? You add all those calories up and your deficit has dropped way down below what it should be on a 72. And you add to that the fact that you've done so many way past the point where you should have that your metabolism started to slow down. You need to eat. Category two people you need to eat. You need to learn how to eat on the day. And you need to gain muscle. So I want you to stop weighing yourself because I don't give a shit about your body weight right now. I give a shit about your lean body mass your body fat. We need to recomp you. Before I want you to worry about losing the rest of the body fat, you need to gain some muscle because that's how you're going to lose the rest of the body fat without hurting yourself. You can't just keep dropping calories, dropping calories, dropping calories. You tried that. You went all the way and you fasted. It's not working. How come you can't eat food every day like a normal person? You're not an athlete. You're a human being. You're supposed to have muscle mass. You don't have any fucking muscle mass. You never done anything. You sit on the couch and you watch fucking Wednesday Adams or whatever the fuck. You watch TikTok. You need to have muscle. Muscle. Now, that applies to men and women. Women worry about looking bulky. It's very difficult for women to look bulky unless you have high testosterone naturally, which is very rare. Um, it's hard for men to gain muscle. Men look bulky because they have testosterone and not because they have it now, but because they were exposed to it in the womb. You can't undo that, right? So women, you don't need to worry about that. What we need to worry about is putting five pounds of muscle on you and that five pounds of muscle, you are all at, you're all athletes, you're athletes, you're athletes. That's what I'm saying to you. You're an athlete who forgot it, Alondra. Don't come at me. So... You need to train like one. You need to train like one. You don't need to get on your fucking elliptical. You don't need to go to your fucking Zumba class. I don't give a shit about that. It's not going to do anything. You need to pack five pounds of dense, tight, lean body mass on your stupid body. Okay? That's what you need to do right now. Wednesday was a fencer. <coughs> I, don't know. <coughs> I don't be knowing about that. <coughs> So, get on your barbell. It's the way. Why, barbell? Why don't you just do dumbbells and dumbbells just do dumbbells? Because you don't want isolated muscle exercises. You want to load your entire skeleton with weight. You need the entire neuromusculoskeletal adaptation to a full skeletal load bearing weight. That's what you need. You need to do the three big lifts. The squat. Oh, God. <clears throat> press. Either bench press or overhead press. Alternate. And the deadlift. You need to do those three lifts. I don't want you going to some... Well, you can't if that's all you can do. Some, like, corporate bro gym. But you need to ignore the rest of the gym. And you need to go to the squat rack and the bench. It would behoove you to go to a free, <coughs> oh my God, coaching session and learn how to do these lifts properly. Or you could get the book. It's called Starting Strength. It's a great book. When I was first losing weight, I started doing this. I was fasting. I'm doing 72s. I was going to my friend's home gym. I was actually a shed. Squat rack, barbell and plates in her shed. 
unair conditioned Texas summer and I was squatting and pressing and deadlifting three times a week using the starting strength method. I had the book on a Kindle and I was, I would watch the videos and I would learn how to do it. Um, it's best to get a coach if you can, but if you can't, whatever, find a barbell and get underneath it and do the novice linear progression from starting strength. If you can afford to go to the starting strength gym, they are not the meat market places that other gyms are. Most of their clientele is over 40. Everybody there is very serious and they have men and women of all ages in there. So <clears throat> if you go in there trying to show your ass off, you will probably get made fun of, at least behind your back. At least I imagine so. So I have my intro session tomorrow. Um, and I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I did this before back in 2020, but I would like to get one coaching session. I can't afford their fucking shit. But I'd like to get one coaching session um, before I try to do it completely by myself. And the solution that I've come up with is that me and two of my brothers, uh, yes, Gabrielle Lyon, I don't know who the hell that is. We're not overweight, we're under muscled. Exactly. My exact body weight right now. I don't give a shit. If I stay this exact body weight, what I care is what I look like in the mirror. So here's what you need to do. Actually, I'll get there in a second. Let me go back to what I was saying. Me and my brothers, <clears throat> my brothers have a squat rack and we are going to split the cost of uh, used barbell plates and bench. And we are going to, I'm just going to go to my brother's house three times a week. It's right by my work. Monday, Wednesday, Friday after work, drive over there, go out on their patio, bam, bam, bam and do my <coughs> three sets of five for each lift and go home. So definitely get the book. Um, and I want you to be thinking more about muscle right now than you are about the number on the scale. As a matter of fact, if you're in category two, if you're not sure if you're in category two, you should message me. <coughs> and if you're borderline, then just be in category two. Because even if you're still technically in category one, if you can, if you have the mobility, if you have... If you're too fat to even get into a full squat, that's one thing. But if you have the mobility to do the lifts, then do them. Then do them. And gain five pounds of muscle. And then the, just in putting on five pounds of muscle and forgetting about your fat, you're going to lose five pounds of body fat. Easily. I was just watching a video. There's so many videos of, of you know, women who've done this program who are like, you know, I weigh the same or I weigh two pounds more, but you look at them and you're like, oh my God, who cares, right? So get yourself a pair of pants or a measuring tape, you know, a pair of pants that's like a little bit tight right now and start your novice linear progression with starting strength or whatever. And then in a month, try on those same pants and they're going to be loose and then get you another pair of pants that are a little too tight and just keep doing that. Um, we're under muscled and that's why we can't eat food. And that's the quest that I've been on. I've been like, why can't I just eat food like a normal person? Well, because I've been sitting on my ass for most of my life. That's why we've all squandered our natural athleticism that we were born with. Some of us more than others, but we're all athletes, Alondra. So get under a barbell. You're not exercising, you're training. What are you tra training to do? You're trained to be an athlete. Why? Because you're a fucking person. And then whatever kind of sport you want to do outside of that, I don't give a shit. You want a roller skater? Then roller skate, it'll make you a better roller skater. You want a line dance? You want a country music line dance to Toby Keith? It'll make you a better line dancer, probably somehow. Because it'll make you stronger. Your entire body. Every single lift is a full body workout. And these compound lifts, your whole body is going to change. So you don't have to be like, oh, it's ab day. It's core day. It's day I'm going to work my core. Every day is core day. Every day is leg day. And every day is upper body day, right? So get the under a freaking barbell. 
February. It's been fitness focused February. And that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on fitness, right? I've been doing my dumbbell workout. Yeehaw. Yeah, girl. I've been doing my dumbbell workout uh, every other day. Even when I was sick, I did it yesterday. I was doing my, my uh, weighted glute bridges because I don't have a barbell yet. Um, but I'm doing something, and that's important. If you don't have a barbell yet, then get some dumbbells. Get some heavy dumbbells. You can get them free on Facebook Marketplace because every bitch is cleaning out the garage and it's like, he never picks these up and sells them for $20 on Marketplace. Get you some of them. <coughs> Ladies, for your lower body to work, work out to be worth the shit, you need pretty heavy ones. So doing goblet squats with an eight pound dumbbell is not going to do that much. Yeah, get on Pinterest, get on TikTok. I don't care. Find you some dumbbell workouts and see what you can do about getting a barbell on your freaking shoulders. Because strength is for everybody. Everybody's supposed to be strong. And you can get long, lean, toned muscles in a variety of ways. But um, you're not actually going to get stronger. and You're not going to lose any significant percentage of body fat. Please don't die while being under the barbells. I've seen videos of people break their necks stupidly and die at the gym. Yes, good point. <coughs> 11 people a year in the United States die doing a bench press. By far, it is the most dangerous press because you have to unwrap the bar and then bring it over your face and throat to get into the proper position. But people keep their elbows bent and they don't lock out before they move it. And then they're like, Urgh! and they die. And it looks just like that. You're welcome. Um, so yes, you're exactly right, which is why, you know, Starting Strength has a free coaching session. They're not really into the hard sell from what I've heard. So they're not going to be like, you know, they actually make money off of people off of word of mouth of people getting stronger. Whereas the business model, literally the business model at the corporate gyms is they depend on you paying for the membership and not coming in. Starting strength, they have built their reputation by word of mouth, by people talking about how fucking good they are. The reason that's how I found out about them was there was all these people at my church doing it. I was like, everybody's ripped here. What's going on? This is church by God. And, uh, and, uh, they were all doing starting strength. <clears throat> and that was how one of them had a home gym. And she was outside just to doing it, you know? So, uh, February has been fitness focused. March is going to be muscle madness. It's happening. It's happening. I'm uh, working on getting the rack set up at my brother's place having my one coaching session, and then I'm going into my novice linear progression. And that is what I recommend that you do. If you have stalled or plateaued on your weight loss, you need more muscle, period. Period. So that's all I have to say for today. I'm sure that some of you are disappointed because I'm not like, fast harder, drink more snake juice. But that, eventually you got to eat. And why can't you eat? Because you don't have enough muscle mass. Muscle is a very metabolically active tissue. Fat, by contrast, is inert. Muscle does shit that fat doesn't do. And I'm going to be talking about this um, in March. I've been like nerding out really hard about muscle and what it does. And I'm like obsessed with it right now. And you get to benefit from my obsession. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do a deep dive on some muscle. We're going to talk all about it and why you need it, how to build it. Um, so if you want like a couple of actionable things that you can do today, if you're like, okay, but I'm not losing weight. I've been fasting. Oh my God, what do I do? All right. Starting strength, get the book. Um, number two, stop weighing yourself. Number three, find some pants that are a little tight that you can use as your um, litmus tests, uh, four, get the under a barbell ASAP, start making a plan, start finding a way to do it. And I don't want to hear like, there's no way I can't find a way. 
There's always a way. If you need to go in halvesies with somebody on a home gym, if you need to just buck up and get a $35 Gold's Gym membership because they have a squat rack there, whatever you need to do, I don't give a shit. If you can afford it, if you have the money, go to starting strength. That's the gold standard. But you've got to do it. Find a way to get under a barbell three times a week and no more because you don't build muscle under the bar. You build muscle while you're resting. So, um, you. Yeah. So, um, that's what you need to do. Read the book and actually read it. Dude, you're going to want to skip things because this guy goes into a lot of detail about physiology. The chapter on the squat is 72 pages long. I know it's excessive. I, I did skip a little bit of that. I was like, we cannot talk. You can't say hip drive anymore. You can't say hip drive. You've said it too many times. You've said posterior chain too many times. I can't listen to it anymore. You'll be getting up while you're reading it and you'll be thinking about the way you've been taught to squat. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh shit, no wonder that hurt my knees. No wonder that didn't work. No wonder that felt weird. Because everybody has their different way to squat. And you'll get up and you'll try his version and you'll be like, oh my God. So uh, read the book, find your tight pants, throw your scale away for a little while, hide it. Um, <coughs> make a barbell plan. And uh, what else did I say? Oh yeah, protein. So you need to be getting like, I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet exactly what number I want to tell you, but however much protein you're getting, you need to get way freaking more. So like when I did the formula where you, you figure out how much protein you need by lean body mass, um, I mean, a, a, a standard, you're not really going to go wrong with one gram per pound of body weight, which seems like a lot because it is a lot, but do that. I am supposed to get like 127 grams of protein a day, but I've been getting like between 160 and 200 most days. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So like protein, I did tell you protein was evil. And the reason for that is <clears throat> if you are, and see, this goes back to category one and category two. Okay. If you're in category one, if you're a great big fat ass, what's our goal for you to not be a fat ass. So you need to, our goal when you're in category one is to lower your insulin, to control your appetite. Um, oh, uh, to control your appetite and be able to burn fat. You know, insulin inhibits fat lipolysis. We get the insulin low. We control your appetite. Your fat comes off. Great. The problem with high protein is that it can trigger gluconeogenesis. So we worry that too much protein will kick you out of ketosis. <clears throat> but I no longer really care if a person comes out of ketosis when they're fasting for three days at a time. Um, I thought the reason that I was stalling out was because I wasn't staying in ketosis. The reason I was stalling out is because I don't have enough lean body mass. We need more muscle. Alondra, we need more muscle. Mus March muscle madness. We're not there yet, but I'm very excited about it. Um, <clears throat> okay. So barbell starting strength book, tight pants, protein. And, uh, I recommend that you take creatine, even if you're a chick, because creatine does not have the same effect on women that it does on men. It's not going to make you bulky. It doesn't do that. Part of the reason is because women, we already have more creatine. We already make more creatine. Yes. Thank you, Alondra. Than men do. So we actually need to take a little bit more it, it just helps us build muscle. It doesn't bulk us up. <coughs> Five grams creatine monohydrate. It's pretty cheap. You don't need to buy the expensive creatine. Just buy the cheap monohydrate. Okay. So those are your action items for right now. And we're going to be talking about what you need to do with your food intake. Because you don't need to just start eating like you're an NFL player just because you're lifting weights three times a week. 
So, and also if you've been fasting, I don't want you to just immediately bump your calories all the way up to like maintenance or higher. You need to, you're going to need to gradually go up. You'll probably be able to stay pretty low calorie and a pretty big deficit for the first few weeks of training before you're going to start failing on your lifts and have to bump it up. But we're going to see. We're on this journey together. I'm going to be your guinea pig. I'm going to be your canary in the coal mine of life. And um, we're going to see what happens to me. And that's how we're going to know about how, you know, what we should do with your calories. And everybody's going to be a little bit different. And it's going to depend on how much muscle you're still carrying around and how much fat you're still carrying around. It will depend. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing muscle now, guys. Um, cool. Okay. So um, thank you for watching. If you are um, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube, then you should subscribe. I don't know what all this Twitch nonsense is. Who is this? Martha? Is this like junk mail from Twitch? What is this? want to do a second i can't see second flash for what does that mean first stage i just crack on with your past advice sorry yes if you're a great big fat person you just keep on doing 72s hun you just keep right on with that um you'll know when they stop working you'll know trust me it'll probably be a while it depends on how much fat you have on you if you weigh like 220 pounds you got a ways to go you're gonna be all right all right um, we all want to get to category two, even though category two is the hard part, right? But it's a good place to be where you're like, damn, I don't have to do 72s anymore. Uh, so yeah, is that, is that Twitch junk mail? Anybody who knows Twitch, can you tell me what that means? What is this nonsense? Put this back up here. So I'm on Twitch, I think. Yes. Fast carnivore. I'm on Twitter. Fast Carnivore. Yeah? Yeah. Instagram, Carnivore Kristen. My Facebook group is Primal Weight Loss. My YouTube is Primal Weight Loss. What else? That's it. Patreon, Primal Weight Loss. So Patreon, um, I'm going to have a whole pro little program set up in there for March starting. I'm going to have a calendar. I'm going to have all kinds of stuff. I'm going to have challenges. It's going to be like, it's going to be jumping off in Patreon in March. So if you're not a member, you should join. My VIP members get a live Q&A once a month. And I just had my first one yesterday, yesterday, Sunday. And I had one person, I have like three or four VIPs, but it was me and Rhonda kicking it. It was a good time. Um, new comments. Uh, yeah, this is junk mail. Twitch. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, whatever. I don't care. All right, love you guys. Bye.